Hey there, folks! This is Rocky Red Panda, your host of the Artist Row Illustrator and PND Studios, bringing this update for the week of the 25th of May 2020. Now, last weekend was Memorial Day weekend. Oh, that was a blast. It was fun. A lot of people out. I actually started back at work. Hey, me. Well, yeah. Well, only working weekends now, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Work in the tourist industry. It did go well, so I am quite pleased with that. But baby steps. Let's take baby steps. Now, if you saw us on the news, what was happening around the world, and especially the United States Memorial Day weekend, beaches were packed, a lot of things were happening, which brings up the topic of COVID-19. I usually don't talk politics or mention politics, but we're going to go ahead and discuss a little bit about COVID-19. Now, during this pandemic, because there's still people that are all, still on lockdown, people that have lost their jobs, they got furloughed, they don't have jobs, they're collecting unemployment. Well, the answer to this, I don't have an answer for you guys. I wish I did. But there's so much going on around us and out there that being in lockdown, making us go stir crazy. That's right, because no one is working with each other. The Democrats are doing their own thing. The Republicans are doing their own thing. They're bickering, they're yelling at each other, they're pulling at each other's hairs, and nothing is getting done. He said, she said, they said, they didn't do. They're blaming one another. Folks, I mean, if you look what's going on right now, states are now having reopen the state protests because they're tired of being in lockdown. They're taking away our civil rights. Our civil rights, we need to go get our hair did. And states like Georgia, they're having relock the state protests where they're saying it's enough is enough, Governor. We locked the state because there are more people dying each day and you gave us false information. And I'm not even going to say what's happening up in Minnesota right now. Just watch the news. It's a mess up there. But in all reality, when we calm down, folks, and take a breath, we are all one person. We're united. We're one world. One love. Why am I thinking of Bob Marley when I'm hearing that? One love, let's get together and feel all right. That's right, we're all one person, folks. Put politics aside, we're not Democrats, we're not Republicans, we're one person. And keep in mind, we will get through this together as one person. Enough the fighting, enough the bickering. Let's just have one love. We'll get through this together. Okay, that was my little rant from me, Rocky, and PND Studios. I used to talk politics. But moving on, though, however, to happy things, this would have been the week of pride here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. But unfortunately, it got postponed to another date. So for everyone out there, July, June the 1st is the start of Pride Month. So show your pride, you know. For the LGBTQ, especially everyone out there, and yep. Yeah. So moving on, Sony announced their first new camera to replace the RX line. Actually, it's not replacing, but it is made for you or people like me, the creator and vloggers alike. It's the Sony ZV1. That is correct. The Sony ZV-1 is a nice little cool camera made for vloggers of mine. They listen to us people. They listened. Now my main camera, which I'm using right now to record to you, is a Sony 6300A6300, which is awesome because I get my message out to you. Now the camera that I use, used to use, or I have my side camera, this is my A5000 by Sony. I liked it because it has a flip screen. The only issue is there's no ports for microphones and whatnot. But this new point and shoot camera, the ZV-1, is awesome. I have yet to get it, but it's awesome. It has one of the best built-in microphones. One, two, and three. It's supposed to give you good quality. It has an SD slot. It even has a slot port for an external mic. 
But there are three things I don't like about the camera that I've been watching videos, reading reviews, is A, there is no headphone jack. So quality, like I'm giving you with audio, it's kind of a hit or miss. You're going to hope that it gets the best. Two, um, the, the wideness of the frame is less. So it only gets part of your face and not all of your face. And you're expecting it to give you all the full view. And, of course, there's always three, which is the battery. I've heard the battery sucks, but again, if you're getting a smaller camera, point and shoot fits in your pocket, you're also going to get a small battery. So I'm going to give you the full review. I actually pre-ordered this beast. Now, you can pre-order this beast from uh, Adorama. That's the site that I use to buy my camera equipment, Adorama, which I'll post the link below. Also, I'll post a link down in the About section and in the comments. Adorama has a special deal going right now. So for 800 some dollars, you can get the new RX. You can get the new, why am I thinking RX? You can get the new Sony ZV-1 camera bundle with a 64 gigabyte memory card. You get the Bluetooth little um, Sony vlogger handle thing that you can carry around. And you get the camera itself. What a deal, folks. So definitely check down in the links and everything, and you can get yourself the same deal I just purchased. Now, the camera will release on June the 11th. That's when they start shipping it out. So check it out. Now, of course, I'm no big YouTuber, so I don't get Sony to send me stuff. I wish Sony did. I mean, I don't sponsor Sony in any way, but I do use... Oh, buggy. A lot of... Sony products. I just had a little bugs off. So, <laughs> well, moving on, we're going to talk about Popple. Now, what is Popple? That is something else I'll be doing a review on. Popple fits onto the back of your cell phone. It is a little round circular disc. We'll use an SD card for an example here, and it pops to the bottom. Now, in the days of COVID and people afraid and germaphobes oh, no. touch things, because when you go to a convention, like I do, I sell as an illustrator at Comic Cons. You hand out your business card. Thank you. Have a great day. Well, now with COVID and all these people, they're afraid to touch things. They don't know where this has been. So what Popple does is solves that problem by having an NS, NF, an NFC chip. That's the right word. NFC chip built into a small little circular disc that fits onto the bottom of your phone. So when you're walking down the street and you talk to someone, say, "Hey, I like you. You like your work." Do you have a business card? Actually, no, I don't. Let me see your phone. Tap your phone, and boom, all of your information, including your website, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of your social media will now appear right onto their phone, and they can like and subscribe to all of those little cool things, but they can also, you can also set it up to directly link them to one of those pages in particular, so they can like and subscribe. That is gonna be another cool thing. So we'll definitely check that out. Now, with that in mind, wait, watch the video the whole way through because the end of the video, I'm going to be mentioning a free little giveaway. Yes, we're going to be having a little giveaway from PND Studios to so check out for your chance to win some cool stuff. Now, moving on, you're probably noticing this. Ooh. This is wow. my new logo. That's right. So, well, it's not really a new logo per se. But this year, I mentioned earlier that I combined everything into one name. So, illustration, video, photography, my online store is now under PND Studios. This is a cool refresh for my studio and what I do. You'll see this cool little design on my YouTube, my Facebook, and my Twitter. Now, as my website, I will still keep that as Panda. Numeric designs or Panda N designs. That's what I use when I sell at conventions as an illustrator. So that is still going to be separate. But that, my friends, including the artist show and weekend travelers, will be all under one name, just PND Studios. Now, I expect a lot more to come from PND Studios in the future. I hope this will expand into bigger and better things. Now, we're talk about music. So it's been a while since I've actually done anything musical related. Well, with this stay-at-home quarantine, 
I've actually wrote new material, new songs. It's awesome. Yes, before I did any of this stuff right I'm doing right now, cleaning art, I was a musician. I did solo music. I traveled and played open mics. Well, that may be coming back soon. Uh, who knows? You know, you, who knows what's going to happen with that new material? But regardless, it's all uploaded to SoundCloud. That's right, SoundCloud. So I'll have a link to that so you can guys can check it out and leave uh, leave remarks down below and tell me what you think of the music. And now keep in mind the music is folk related because I do love folk music. Peter Paul, Mary the Kingston Trio. Bob Dylan, you name it, that's the style of music I grew up with, and that's the style of music I like. So, definitely check that out. And my art, well, art-wise, I have been kind of relaxed on my art, but doing a lot of these videos only because my arm. My arm here has been giving me a lot of issues. Now, if you remember in my previous videos, I did have a little surgery on it, um, and I had to wear like a little thing. Well. What happens is it's healed, but I've been using it more than I should, especially during this quarantine. So with that being said, my arm is now acting up and flared. So I try to not use it as much. And with that, I can't do art. It's usually how I usually do it because this is why I got it. So right now my art is on hold, but also keep in mind my first convention. Yes, my first convention, which is a Harrisburg Pop and Comic Con or Harrisburg Comic and PopCon at the Harrisburg Mall in September. So shout out to you guys out there. Um, that's my first convention. So I have between now and the end of August to get all my stuff ready. So there's, there's no rush, no rush at all. And lastly, let's talk about this new streaming service called HPO Max. It released, uh, just yesterday, I've only had it for one day, and I will say it is cool. It is unique. Now, just to let you guys know, if you're interested in HBO Max, there's also a link for that below as well. It starts at $14, $14.99 a month, but you get the first seven days free. Now, I signed up early with a pre-release where I only had to pay $11 some dollars a month for a few months, and it goes back up to $14.99. Now, is HBO Max worth it? $14.99 a month. Well, I have yet to give it a full test. Now, once I do, I'll give you a review on it. But you get the whole Doctor Who line from Dave, from before David Tennant all the way up. You get the whole Moffat line, I should say, um, which is awesome. You have the whole Ghibli Studio collection, Turner Classic Movies, Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, DC Comics, just to name a few big ones, and of course, original HBO shows. Now, I think it's great. Now, the only bad thing about this on release day, no Roku, no Amazon Fire Stick. I mention that now, because if you do plan on getting this, keep in mind, if you have a Roku TV, a Roku device, or an Amazon Fire Stick, it will not be compatible. Now, I say it's not compatible, but there are ways around that. Now, by way of not compatible, um, uh, AT&T, which owns HPO and works with Warner Brothers and DirecTV, they're now kind of right now in the talk with uh, Roku because they really want to bring the full HPO Max experience to the Roku device. However, it's Warner Media that's kind of putting them on hold because Warner Media wants this full excursion app experience like you would see with Apple TV with the uh, Apple TV Plus and with Disney Plus, they want the full app experience and they want people to be immersed in that. So they're working on it. It's not going to be coming out soon, but it might be released to Roku very soon. Now, as for Amazon, well, no one knows. They're working on with Amazon too, but not as quickly as they're working with Roku. Now, keep in mind, I said, but there are caveats. Well. A way you can get around not being able to watch on Roku with a native app is you have on your lovely devices, especially Samsung phones here, um, Smart View. So what you do is you connect your phone using Smart View up to your Roku streaming device or Roku TV if it's connected on the same wireless network. And then you're now mimicking your screen directly to your Roku. And all you have to do is make sure all of your notifications are turned off because you don't want 
to be interrupted, plug your phone in, go to HBO Max, and you can watch videos directly from your phone, HBO Max app, directly to your TV via Roku. So that's the way around it. And sorry, folks, if you have Apple devices, such as an iPhone or iPad or MacBooks, it will not be compatible. I tried the other day. It's not going to be compatible regardless of how hard you try. So, sorry, folks, if you have an Apple. Better luck next time. Now, then I'm going to end this video with the giveaway. That's right. I mentioned a giveaway. Well, you have a chance to win one of these. This is Tilemate. Now, what on earth is Tilemate? Well, Tilemate is this little device, it's a small, powerful companion that finds your things. It's a little Bluetooth tile. I carry Tilemate wherever I go. I have one in my wallet, I have one on my keys, and I also have one on my camera. So you sync this up with your cell phone using the, the Tile app, which I'm going to show you right now. So let's open my phone. And we're gonna go to tile and this is the tile app yes I know there are two that need to be replaced but we're going to go ahead let's do 30 days so the tile app right now I have my keys wallet camera and my phone on there so whatever you want to find a device you just click find and as long as it's within your proximity it will locate your device now if your device say it's not in your proximity and you left it somewhere well it'll tell you the last place that your tile was last uh, I guess uh, located at and other people that have tile when they walk by that area can definitely update you on where it is now and where it is going so you can definitely help find your device quicker so you do have a chance to win this tile mate which is great to help find your keys or phones or anything especially cameras so all of the lovely perks of how to get one of these will be listed down below in the about section so make sure you have a chance to win tile mate there's only going to be at least 10 of these i'm going to be giving away 10 of these tile mates so maybe you'll have a chance to win definitely hope and may the odds be forever in your favor and with that said folks this is rocky red panda Signing out for this edition of the vlog for the week of May 25th, 2020. I will see you again next week and hope for better things to come. Because we're going to go back with a one love. Let's get together and feel alright. That's right. Let's all get together and feel alright, folks. Well, this is Rocky Red Panda signing out, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace out, folks. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to PND Studios here on YouTube for more awesome videos from PND Studios, the artist show, and everything else that is produced. And also make sure you check the official PND Studio store via pandaanddesigns.com slash store. Well, not store, but. It's there. You'll see a link. I could be wrong, but it's right there. Yeah, actually, no, that's not there. This is my, well, you'll find out.